Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. I am so very excited to have seen this come across my newsfeed a couple of times today. And actually, my wife had pointed it out to me, which reminded me, oh yeah, I should do a video on this. This makes my heart happy. One of my favorite actors. It seems that they, although they never quite disappeared, it seems that they are kind of making a comeback and it seems like they might be starting to do some more roles in the future and start coming back into the forefront. So let's get over to the story. Brendan Fraser's The Whale has premiered and critics have a lot of thoughts about the film. Before it was even seen by critics, The Whale was already generating Oscar buzz. The drama uh, from A24 starring Brendan Fraser is the adaptation of a play about a 600 pound man trying to reconnect with his daughter. Along with Fraser, who has delighted fans by making a career come uh, comeback. The film stars uh, Sadie Sink from Stranger Things, uh, Hong Chow, and Samantha Morton. Critics were impressed by the first look at the whale, but after the movie <clears throat> premiered in the at the Venice International Film Festival, they've definitely got a lot more to say. And here, Brendan Fraser is brought to tears by everybody who is giving him a standing ovation in the crowd. And that is just, oh my God, that is just heartwarming to see. This man, um, I only know a little bit of the story and uh, there's not a lot, but this man was put through hell uh, in his life early on in his career. He was going to be propped up to be one of the next big movie stars back in uh, his early career. I specifically, obviously, everybody remembers him from uh, the Mummy movies, obviously, that trilogy. A lot of people didn't like the third one. I remember him as a kid at, <clears throat> being George of the Jungle, which was so fun uh, to see uh, George of the Jungle, uh, the live action, which a lot of people just thought that was a silly movie, and it was. But I also remember him from movies like Journey to the Center of the Earth uh, and Inkheart. Inkheart is probably my one of my favorite movies that brendan fraser has ever starred in and not a lot of people talk about it i am utterly excited to see that he could potentially getting back into doing uh wholesome films family friendly films films that all of us could absolutely enjoy i doubt he's going to be doing any action blockbusters um i mean he just he stepped out of it. He went to go raise his kids. He went to go be a family man. He got away from all the Hollywood BS for so many years. And again, he did some, you know, some minor roles here and there, uh, making an appearance. Obviously, he's got to make a paycheck just like anybody else has to make a paycheck. But the things that this man suffered through Hollywood would break most people. And I... I venture to say that they did not break him. That doesn't mean that he didn't need his time away to, you know, really evaluate his life, his family, the things that he wanted, the things that he valued, the things that he cared for most dearly. And I am utterly excited to see Brendan Fraser stepping back up into um, the, the, the spotlight with this movie. I haven't seen this movie. I can... I would like to check this movie out. Uh, um, man, it's just it's just so heartwarming. It's so heartwarming to see a man like this who who inspired me as a kid. He like he, the Brendan Fraser was my Indiana Jones, right? He was the Harrison Ford character for me. And every movie that I've seen him in, I would see movie be scrolling through Netflix or wherever I'd be scrolling through. And if I saw his name, I would watch it. Oh, this is a Brendan Fraser movie. Absolutely going to watch it. Um, what was that animated? Oh, the, oh, the, the Robert, the Roger Rabbit movie. Was he in that one too? There's quite a few Brendan Fraser movies that I've seen over the years, and I've forgotten many of them because everybody always remembers The Mummy, The Mummy Returns, and uh, the third one, which had something to do with the Dragon Emperor, who I believe was Jet Li, and his son. And I still like that movie. I actually still like that movie. I could still remember most of the plot of that movie, which is a very, very simple plot is some people do some dumb stuff. They wake up a mummy and then, uh, well, 
uh, you know, Brendan Fraser and the uh, merry band of companions that he has in those movies has to basically stop it. And his son is old enough at this point in time, hanging out with, uh, oh, was it Uncle Roger? Was that, that his name? Okay. Anyway, I can't remember. Uncle Roger. No, that's a YouTube channel. <laughs> but no, this is just so fantastic. Um, this is just so fantastic. I am so excited that uh, Brendan Fraser is... Uh, getting back into it and you know what let's let's just look at the movies that this great man has been in and remember where he came from what he's been in what he's done uh, and see where he is uh, where he's going I I I am absolutely ex I I am just so ecstatic I I'm I've, I've loved this I've loved this actor since I was a kid. Over here on IMDb, we have a lot, obviously, uh, known for The Mummy, you know. Um, 520 videos. Oh, my gosh. Known for The Mummy. Known for The uh, Crash. I don't actually know that movie. Uh, the Mummy Returns. Rick O'Connell. George of the Jungle. He was George. It was 1997. My God, I am dating myself here. Um... <clears throat> And his actor credits, uh, Batgirl announced. Oh, that was canceled. That's not. Oh, wow. He was going to be in that. That's in interesting. Uh, Behind the Curtain of Night, post production, Killers of the Flower Moons, post production, Brothers completed. Uh, the Whale, uh, Doom Patrol. He was in Doom Patrol. Um, no Sudden Move, uh, the Professionals TV series. I mean, so he hasn't really bowed out, but he has not made a major he's not made a major um movie that's gotten that's gotten a lot of of play in quite a long time oh that's right gi joe the rise of the cobra he was in that briefly um i do i do remember that sergeant stone un, he was uncredited in that wow that's interesting i do remember him being in that though that's what it is uh the tomb of the dragon emperor journey to the center of the earth absolutely fantastic inkart was 2008 a lot of people don't know inkart inkart was fantastic inkart was is one of my favorite movies with brendan fraser um I mean, oh my gosh, he was in King of the Hill too. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go watch those episodes. Oh man, but no, this is something that just warms my heart to see a man who was put through hell by the Hollywood machine and who a lot of people thought was chewed up and spit out and no longer. Brendan Fraser, it is being said, is on the comeback tour. He humbly accepted a standing ovation where he shed tears over it and this man, I think, deserves it with the information that I know. Who knows? Maybe he's not the guy that I think he is. But I always remember him from my childhood. He was in major, major movies from my childhood and high school growing up. So, Brendan Fraser, it's good to have you back. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody out there who is watching this video. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you all next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. And don't forget, go into the link down below and join my Gilded server. This is where the A Drink With Crazy community gets together. We talk about life and liberty and our pursuits of happiness. And I, I do try to keep the degeneracy down there, but it does come out. So you are forewarned. There is degeneracy there. But if that sounds like something that you're into, you should go join the Gilded server. But hit that subscribe button for me first, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Cheers. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.